worked out with the script. It's usually worked out as a script. You know, but it can go this way or it can go that way during the making of the movie and the rise of the occasion. But usually, you know, it's, I'm not winging it. It's all it's written down in the script and it's a solid story. So I have a, I can fly high because I have a safety net to catch me if I fall down. I think the answer is script. It's simple to see it's a magic TV So the world can believe it's a magic TV It's simple to see it's a magic TV So the world can believe it's a magic TV Welcome back to another edition of Celebrity Scene News for Ed Magic TV. Here's Kirk Douglas, a gentleman that's certainly a legend in the business. And tonight, we honor Quentin Tarantino, meaning, of course, the Schriff Awards, the Kirk Douglas Award for Mr. Tarantino. We'll talk to Mr. Tarantino. We'll also hear a little bit from Kirk. But most importantly, we're celebrating one of the new innovators as a director and also as an actor, Mr. Quentin Tarantino. Check it out. The very first day that we all got to Berlin, we started rehearsals. Quentin explained to all of us that the most important moment is between action and time. And if you are not 100% there, go be in another movie. Because this is, I make movies for people who love making movies. As, as is evidenced by the behind the scenes footage. And so to be a part of something like that, to, to, to be involved with a guy who means so much to him, um, I think the award that he's getting tonight from Kirk Douglas, uh, a living legend, is going to mean a lot to him. And it means a lot to me that I get to be here to, to see him. Well, Sam, first of all, it's a very special night because, after all, Quentin Tarantino is the most famous sought after director in the business today. And I agree. Here he is getting an award. The Kirk Douglas Award, I call it. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? My, my thoughts are Quentin is very deserving of the award, and I know how much he's going to appreciate it, the fact that it's the Kirk Douglas Award and being presented to him by Kirk Douglas, uh, a living legend in, in the film industry, who I know Quentin adores. And I'm so honored that I get to, to be here to, to watch this happen. I, I'm really looking forward to hearing what Quentin has to say. You mentioned that you worked with Quentin a couple of years ago, or you met him a couple I met him uh, a number of years ago, yeah. I'd, uh, I tracked him down. I knew he was going to be somewhere, and I was such a fan. I, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to make sure I was there to say hello. Well, talk about your career and what you're doing. Uh, my career, what I'm doing, my, my career has been, um, you know, uh, a 10-plus year journey now. Um, and uh, and the, the fact that at any point in my career I ever got to work with Quentin means that I can end it a happy guy tomorrow. That was, I mean, 10 years ago someone asked me in an interview what my goals were. And I'd forgotten about that interview and someone found that interview, dug it up, and sent it to me last year. And sure enough, someone said, what are your career goals? And I said, to work with Quentin Tarantino on anything. And the fact that I got to, um, to me, means that's it. I, I'm good to go. Because Quentin has that inability, the ability, I should say, to work hard day and night and create and think outside of the box. What's it like working with Quentin Tarantino? Well, it's everything what, what you would expect from him when you see his movies. Like, there is a certain energy, uh, the way he directs, that is very palpable every day on set. He's a very demanding director, certainly one of the most demanding I've worked with in terms of performance. You know, he, he, you have to be right on it every day. You know, there's no, oh, I forgot to learn my lines, or I'm, you know, he's very, very precise and expects you to arrive prepared and fully there. So you know that that was a lesson, and also you know he's 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 pretty genius when it comes to his references, uh, the background information he feeds you. Uh, you know he just uh, he's the captain of the ship, and he just sort of takes you with him. What were your thoughts about the Inglorious Bastards itself, the film? Oh, of course, I have to say, I've offered a little partial to it, you know, I, I loved the script, that it was one of the best scripts I'd ever written, uh, read, ever, ever written, but 
I thought it ca actually came out better than I thought it would be. Can you imagine back in 1989 that you would ever be getting the Kirk Douglas Award given to you by Kirk Douglas? I go, you know what? No, I wouldn't have been able to. That would have been really, that would have been way above my head. It's really exciting to be here. I'm re it's, uh, uh, I really like Santa Barbara. And uh, it's exciting to come down here and to, to be given this award. It's very prestigious. And then to be given it, to be given the Kurt Douglas Award by Kurt Douglas is a real, real honor. I'm really looking forward to meeting him. It's, it's, it's a really exciting and I'm a little nervous. One of the things I do is juggling a bunch of different emotions, a bunch of different things at one time, and turning on a dime. Turning your emotions on a dime. You know? And that's just kind of what I've always been engaged in for a long time. So that was, you know, it's just keeping that juggling act going on during the course of the story. You know what, here's the thing. The, the, I never gave up hope because there was a lot of times that there was a lot of encouragement that build up to nothing all right and and there was just situations that a lot of other people I knew would have finally given up and I just never did I never created a, a fallback situation for myself and the thing is is as, as much as things can go bad if you hang in there they can also go right too. the swing pendulum swings both ways and I hung in there long enough for the pendulum to finally swing in the lucky direction what was it like when you were in Paris promoting the um you know, promoting the film. Nope. What were the people? No, it was the owner. Oh, no, well, you know, uh, I always have a good time in Paris, and and I love the film intelligentsia there. It's always great. So now I know that you talk to a lot of young people. You inspire a lot of young people in this business. What do you tell them? Well, you know, basically, if they want to make movies and everything, you know, uh, work work on something, write something that, that they care about. Write a movie that they want to see that they haven't seen. Quentin Tarantino says he was honored and his honor to receive that award from you tonight. Well, I'm honored to give it to him because he's a very unique guy and he's very original. Mm -hmm. And I've never met him. I'm looking forward to meeting him. How are your sons doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Can I ask one quick question? Have you ever imagined yourself being in one of his films? I mean, yes! I'm surprised when he did it. The movie called Inglourious Bastards. I have been playing Bastards for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs>